Okay, this is a sh <laughs> Okay, that was a worst lance ever. Okay, how the fuck did that not hit? When I do start playing, you know what? Yeah, it's probably gonna be me, you know, fighting, selling off uh, prisoners and grabbing a lot of shacks and renting them out. Uh, I shouldn't bet. And of course, working on enterprises, trying to get the licenses. So far, okay, fifth. Shit, why do I always forget he can actually outreach me if he actually attacks and I'm just, you know, couch lands? Almost did it again. Okay, now we got some decent cash and we can survive. Now, where the fuck are I, our guys? Since this, the enemy seem to be taking the uh, castles over here. Well, the is thrown at least. Are they besieging anything actually? Mismir? Nope. What about here? No, nothing happening. Oh, okay, Windholm is under siege. I guess we should make our way there. Try and save it. Significant group of enemies near Sess. Okay, time to go back. Oh, why is there no fucking food and anywhere? So annoying. We don't have a snake alt army spawning in. Spawning? Nope. The fuck could that be then? Of course, one of our prisoners escaped. I could actually pick these up so we have some kind of cavalry on us. But in the meantime, let's disband these. We don't need them. Can we uh, okay, yeah, their upgrades don't actually stay. Or, you know, the amount of experience they have. 
Ooh, these cost a lot. Yeah, better if we just disband them. Or actually, let's dis dis uh, disassemble the Knighthood Order. I'm never gonna use those. Oh, uh, those are Be Byzantiums, I guess. The they are like uh, the Eastern Roman Empire, more or less. They're decent. But like none of the actual other factions are really, uh, you know, a lot better than any other. They all seem kind of balanced. Well, except the Aztecs. The Aztecs suck. Okay, now they hate me. Good. I think we need uh, we need to have the immortal immortals in in our uh, in our parties too, so we can create the knighthood order. Ooh, Igrim spawned in. That's something we can do if we can find him. Well, I mean, uh, since their weapons are shit and you know they don't have a great armor, I guess you have to give them iron flesh, or else they would be just too easy. Well, I mean, you can actually, you know, conquer the whole new world with. A couple of hundred troops. Shadow Wolves. I'm gonna dismantle these two, I don't need them. Since they don't have any shields. Why is why aren't we getting a lot of we aren't getting any recruits here? What the hell? Like zero. Pirate assassins. Too late to run. And it's funny that the, the like the only true uh, Aztec troops that can actually you know do damage or are decent enough are the uh, temple priests, I think. Temple Guard or something like that, and the Jaguar Warriors, of course. Every everyone else can be, you know, shot to shit by archers. But I don't think I'll focus in game too much on, you know, conquering the the Americas. Marius only has 160 units on him? Well, that sucks. Now, Igrim. Hopefully, you can find him. Well, when you build a colony, don't you need to, like, go back and forth from the old and the new world so you can. Uh, Sell the goods you get. Significant group of enemies near Sezenbolen. Why is it so when I like move, they immediately show up? Who knows, maybe it's nothing even worse. Go back for nothing. Uh, but, you know, that's the same reason I don't ever like... Uh oh, 
on the Vicavier here. False ar alarm, but let's kill him anyway, since we're here. You jackasses. I was going for Igrim. That's like uh, why I never like um, traded a lot in these games. I'm like going from well one um, city to another, just selling shit. Well, the can uh, don't you got an option to build some shit in it? Maybe you need to build some stuff first, so it uh, creates something. I don't fucking know how she gone through my shield, but okay. I don't think these can actually damage me if I'm up close. I guess you, you should check out Hit Point Inn's uh, video guide on it. And he's a streamer too, if you wanna... He seems to know pretty much everything about Noah yes. He does stream during the day. Okay, Hydra. Good. We ran into some money problems. I actually ran out of money as I was upgrading units. But not a big deal, we got some money back. Won a tournament and whatnot. We just need to kill these pieces of shit. I wanna go grab Igrim and kill him, but you know, these guys set up an alarm. The bastards. Okay, archers not didn't run out of arrows yet. Almost though. So what what do you think about Dridelicious? You like his content? So you're seeing Victoria too, so I guess he's right in your ballpark. Okay, archers fuck off. Infantry. His beautiful voice. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, man. Also got my bot channel to follow you. Well, not got, but you know, follow you on that account too. I think yesterday people were trying to get Dridelicious uh, to do a 24 hours drunk stream or something, and <laughs> that was funny. Might actually do it on, on like a thousand followers or 500 followers, and he's pretty close to 500. Well, not the drunk stream, but the stream in general. In general, I think I actually killed more of them just by running them over. Yeah, I'm missing most of them. I remember w oh, one stream I, in my last playthrough of this. Yeah, I think I raided them after, well, the last stream you were on, I think. Yeah, I raided them after that. But, l like, last episode I made of, well, not the last, but, like, you know, the final episode I made for the last playthrough of this, of Prophecy of Pandor. I was thinking it would like take me four hours to conquer the whole map, you know, just go and deal with everyone, just take everything. 
I didn't <laughs> ended up being a 10 hours fucking stream. Oh my god. And the biggest problem was I think I ran into a mercenary lord or higher lord by the Deshar and it, he had 3000 units on him. Oh my god, that battle was a pain in the ass. You know, him with 3000 plus the the Shar Lords had something like a thousand something troops on him too. And I had to like kill them off with I think 400, 500 troops. You know, that, that battle took me an hour or two. And what's even worse, I left uh, Raymond's turn with Pointsburg. And since all the lords from the other kingdoms joined them, they ended up having a couple thousand troops in Pointsburg itself. And I couldn't... I don't know why I didn't just, you know, make myself marshal and tell everyone just to, you know, go for Pointsburg. I didn't want to actually fight the battle. I think that's the main, main problem. So taking Pointsburg actually took me two hours of that time, I think. With a lot of sally out battles and whatever. Yeah, here I'm still in a vassal. I'm not planning on making my own kingdom, by the way. Want this to end quicker than the last one. Then again, how many days am I in? <laughs> Almost a thousand. The last playthrough was, uh, I think, a thousand four hundred days in. <laughs> it does. It's, it's, it seems like this. Is not, this one is not gonna be shorter than it. No. Nah. Who cares? And the fucking shot took Windhelm back. God damn it. Is Igrim still around? Yes, he is. Only bad thing is I can't actually capture Igrim since he's not a lord. You know, doesn't have hit points or anything. Charles. Charles Khan. Oh, that sounds so fucking wrong. I wish you could actually sell the Qualysium for money, you know, but, the, you know, a lot of money, not just a thousand or a few thousand dinaris or whatever it's used here. Okay, keep charging in. I guess I could use the Qualysium to make uh, my knight to the other chapter in says. Okay, never mind, he's not charging in. Move up. But I don't want to become king. Yeah, it's. I don't want to go through, you know, dealing with every fucking faction on the map and that giving vassals shit and whatnot. Because more likely than not, I'm gonna be end up, you know, doing everything in the end, capturing, defending, and whatnot, and everything basically, like in my last playthrough. Then again, in my last playthrough, I took up a claim and first, then I did the... Then I made my own kingdom. Yeah, I could do that. I was saying that, uh, like, a couple of minutes ago. And conquered the whole map with one faction, then just rebel against them and conquer it back. Like... Like if you're playing like to Rome Total War 2 or 1, then you know, Rome conquers everything, then you rebel uh, or fight the other two Roman houses. Something like that. But I think I'm, I'm gonna conquer the world as a vassal, then I, you know, might take a break. From this campaign. Play no Atias, then I could like, play this again and conquer the whole map. Just continue it. I could actually and even load up the other playthrough and okay, the fucking OBS thing went into red. Funny enough, it doesn't say we dropped any frames. Uh, I 
could load up the other playthrough and rebel against myself, <laughs> the Pandora Empire, and just reconquer the world. Well, again, against all my companions and whatnot. It's possible. Now, can I please go and find Igrim? Without anyone stopping me. And when I start my own faction, call it the Rebel Roman Empire, or I don't know, the True Roman Empire, or what I don't know, something like that. We don't have any grain, do we? Nope. Okay, let's see. Fierce Vein is still in shit. I guess we could. Igrim should be around Singal and Wallenberry, I think, yeah. Hopefully we don't get sidetracked again. Ugh, we're making twelve dinaris. Finally. <laughs> At least we're not losing money. I did have to drop quite a lot of troops though. I wish they still notified you when the uh, heretic army or something went past by a city, even though you're not a part of that kingdom. That was so much useful. Oh, look. Ravenstone Lord. Oh, poor Fierce Wind, they're just running around this area. <laughs> Is Igram still around? Yes, he is. Where the fuck is he, though? Okay, that's not it. Contraband. Contraband. I guess you could wander down to Windhall. Met a high expeditionary force. I'm not gonna waste time on that. Let's kill this guy real quick. Oh, will they stop fucking talking? Okay, our infantry is finally here. I 
could also like uh, change factions. So once we uh, get to the last bit, or if Fearsbane survives with three uh, castles, I could join them and betray the Roman Empire, reconquer everything with them. Wouldn't be too hard. Oh god damn it. Okay, that's it. Good. We'll probably need to take went home again, so I need some troops. Heretic sacrifice, sacrifice co uh, cult or whatever it was. No, never mind. They have 500 troops there. Now where the fuck is Igrim? Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, Inquisition. I guess I could get on their good side. Killing farmers. <laughs> I'm surprising by trampling her, I didn't kill her. Maybe I should pick up a dress for my queen or wife. She's not a queen. Okay, where the fuck is Igram? Eh, yeah, maybe we can save the castle there. Oh, this this is why uh, another good idea is to start a kingdom in the Inquisition uh, or in the Dushar territory. The Inquisition is gonna get rid of most of your problems. Let's join that. Can we? No, that's, that guy is gonna run away like a little bitch. Have infantry, Roman Cav. I guess we're gonna fight this. We're outnumbered by a thousand men. Oh hey, panic but buttoned, what's up? We're outnumbered by a thousand men and our ally is just gonna run into them. Of course he is. This is gonna be a long one. I need to kill their leaders though. So we ha get some more troops on the field. And Remus is not gonna be uh, that much help. I seem to remember the Inquisition or any army you join and battle is supposed to follow your orders if they're not in a faction of course. Oh yeah, Prophecy of Pender is hard, yeah, in the beginning. But once you get like a couple of levels up, you're, you're gonna be fine. And you can like loot a lot of good armor early on you know not the best but you know still decent inquisitors 
Now these guys are monsters. The only problem is they don't have shields. If they did, they would be useful. Even the Battle Brothers are good. Uh, one thing you can do in the beginning of Pandor, you can grab adventurers or, or young Soleon rogue knights or something or whatever they're called. You have one for every faction. Grab them and level them up into adventurers. And you know, since the adventurers are more or less the best, well, one of the best cavalry you can get in game, they're gonna have an easier time just steamrolling everything. And when it comes to paying for them, you can uh, just become a mercenary. I actually advise being a mercenary until you want to start your own kingdom or something. Because the kingdom you're a mercenary of is gonna pay for your all of your upkeep. And of course, get yourself two shields. Preferably no other shields. Why is this guy in here? I so wish that units actually came in in the order you place them in your party. So I don't have fucking light infantry on the field. But we should grab all the lords here. So we're not gonna have a problem. With money at least. If you grab the leader. Oh by the way, did you try out Viking Conquest? Or have you bought the expansion actually? That's a better question. That's a, that's a whole lot of stuff like stamina and shield bash. Sprint. Mm, something else you can't... Oh yeah, naval battles. Well, not naval battles, but you know. You grab a boat. You can steer it. And fight on it. Only problem is uh, for that for me is you can easily fall off. And you, if you fall off the boat, you're dead instantly. Because your character can't fucking swim. It's like you're playing G GTA Y City again or GTA 3. And hopefully I didn't spoil Vikings too much for it. And I don't know how many episodes you are in. Or seasons. And even bigger problem in this fight is that the enemy has a lot of skirmisher archers, so I must...